Hi there, welcome back for a brand new day and a brand new video from uh, your location in the sun. I want to send you all my love for the resonance, the support, everything. Thank you for being part of the channel, for subscribing. If you haven't already, go ahead and take care of that. And I wanted to share some powerful insights with you today. Simple but powerful from uh, a new Paradise Eden that I find myself in. I'll reveal where I am very, very soon. It's part of uh, karmic duty. I'm brought here to work on certain things for myself and for the collective uh, and get away from the cold and all that's happening in North America. It's quite a mess. So just a, a new chapter. I'm going to be here for a few months and then we'll see where we go from here. Uh, the intent is to keep on traveling and to experience reality through different facets. Um, one of the uh, the things I mentioned, even though you know obviously it's challenging the traveling aspect at the moment, is the necessity for perspective. If you lived in, in the same country, in the same town, in the same area your entire life, you don't really have perspective. And it's really when you get out of your comfort zone and you travel pretty much anywhere. And, you know, if backpackers can do it, it's no longer even an argument of finances. It's just, you know, it's feasible if you really wanted to and if you need it to. Um, it really, really, really contributes to your growth as a human being. It's something I really, really want to put out there. Something... I've traveled a decent amount, but not a lot, less than most people, or well, actually more than most people, but less than many people. Um, and every time I really, you know, find myself in a new location, it really gives me so much growth. It's just really an injection of growth um, in that very, very short period of time. Maybe a month, two months, three months. But today I wanted to share something, you know, for you to think about. I don't want to talk about happiness. I've been brought to do a sort of a review of my life lately. Many times that, you know, sort of through friendships and family and relationships mostly. And a reevaluation of a lot of times I thought I was okay and I was happy and I was fine to discover that I really wasn't. So it was kind of reliving the whole movie of life and finding out that a lot of moments you were nostalgic to and situations and people and so on weren't really the way you perceived them. So that's the number one. Number two, after doing that, I sort of started to understand more about my life. And I'm sharing this for you to do this exercise as well. Um, I started to understand more, my, more about my life and the necessity to extract happiness from different situations. And then I thought about how to do so. In life, especially in, in, in the Western world, we want, we covet things, we, we desire things, we desire to go places, we desire to do many things. There are two things regarding that, especially we'll take traveling as an example. We desire to go, let's say, to 50 countries, and it's set in our minds. We need to go to 50 countries. The fact is this. We've been here before. We've traveled before. We've lived in different places. We're merely here to remember. We're here as visitors. We're here as a passage. It's all about happiness. Perhaps out of those 50 places, you will really be able to appreciate one or two. So it's more about the inner resonance, about what you need to do, not what you want to do. And we push all the desires aside. And the exercise that I, that I you know, came up with was very simple. I, you know, sometimes you, you invest some money and you do special activities or you travel a certain place or you, you know, you put a certain emphasis on that. And I started to think back in life to the 37 years that I'm on this planet, about 10 moments or even five that made me truly happy. And none of those moments were those pre-planned moments where I had invested so much effort financially, time-wise, so on, so much organization. They were random moments, random flickers of happiness. And I understood that, you know, if I want to live the rest, the remainder of my, my tenure here on this planet, in this vessel, I need to redefine my idea of happiness. And happiness can come in all forms. It's not so much, I believe in the bucket list very strongly. And it really has to come with resonance, but things may change and, you know, it may morph into something new. And you may, re, you may rediscuss with yourself, you may uh, reconfigure your bucket list, your ideas of what you want to achieve, where you want to go, and so on. In terms of seeing or being exposed, rather than, you know, making money or building a business and so on. So this exercise of going back in time to a meditation, the 10 to 1 that we do, and thinking, you know, the regressive count I have, all the meditations on the channel function by the same format, and going back and asking yourself, give me a movie in front of me of 10 moments that I was truly happy in my life. And then we go through those. 
And we see it wasn't the vacation that you saved up for all year and you went to this special place. And that somehow, that whole experience doesn't even register with you. It was a special moment on a special day that happened impromptu, you know, in, in, in some way or some form. So that the planning and the desire to construct your reality by more control and so on is not going to yield that. And at the end of the day, when you're like uh, 90, 100, 200, however long we live this time around, you only have your memories. You may have some pictures and whatnot. And some things will stand out to you. So I was thinking about myself in the future, wanting to extract the greatest amount of happiness and no longer searching for things to say any. Because in the past, it really was important for me to travel to a certain amount of country, to see a certain amount of things. It was predetermined. And as I sit here today, or you know, to, to do certain things, I don't know if these things will make me happy. So it's more of the take it by the day attitude, figuring out from within what will yield the greatest amount of happiness and thinking truly and honestly with yourself what kind of a person you are in regards to what kind of moments really work for you. Some person it may be moments out in nature, another person may be cultural moments, it may be music, it may be concerts, I don't know. But go through that episode because at the end of the day that's really what matters. Those moments of happiness. The life on this planet right now is divided. We're going to coexist with 3D for, for the decades to come. It's not always going to be easy. We can already feel now the divide. And we're going to have, try to have to have to try to find our isles of peace on this planet at this time. And it's going to have its challenges. So it's to put in the work now. So if you've been chasing you know, achievement in your, in your work milieu for many, many years, and then you do this meditation, it doesn't even register on the scale. When you got that promotion, when you did, that's not a good sign. That's a sign that maybe it doesn't really matter if it's not going to live with you for beyond. Because the last video that I made I was talking about previous lifetimes. It's extremely important today to start integrating previous lifetimes in your knowledge of today. Which means you're not limited to this lifetime and the stuff you've learned over 37 years or 67 years. It is through remembrance and connection to the soul that you start to accept and remember all of the lifetimes before and all of the lessons that you've learned. And you start to carry them with you. And that's how you become the, you know, the true vessel for the soul. You don't limit yourself to the current moment anymore in terms of I'm sitting here agonizing about COVID, about the bills, about my parents, whatever. You've been here eons before. You've done all of this. You were born, you had kids, you died, you came back, you did it again. There are lessons there. And the only time you really know yourself is when you sit and you carry your thousand lifetimes, you carry your 20 lifetimes, your four lifetimes, your 20,000 lifetimes with you. And you remember that you did this already. So maybe it's super important for you to go to some place. And then at the end of the day, you don't end up going there. And you meditate and you find out that you've already lived there. So it's, you know, you just need to remember. You don't necessarily need to put the action into play physically. So it's more of connecting with your memories, connecting with yourself and and trying to figure out your, your true moments of happiness. Now, before I continue, I just want to make uh, the announcements. We have the Freedom from 3D Employment course, extremely relevant to everything I'm talking about. It's uh, available it's in, the, in the description of the video and in the first comment. If you're on another channel, you go to the Indigo Light channel, you're going to find it there. It's on the website, indigolightlove.com. And we have, of course, the Navigating and Creating the 5D Experience. Again, very important here on Udemy. It's tools, metaphysical tools, mindset tools that help you create physical, metaphysical and physical reality today. Because it is all about your consciousness. Again, check out the website indigolightlove.com, the Instagram at indigolight2222. Send me an email for questions regarding any of those things, uh, indigolight2222 at gmail.com. And uh, check out the Facebook. That's it. Of course, subscribe to the channel. Now, back to the topic at hand. We are really removing the superfluous layers today. We're understanding what makes us tick, what makes us happy, and what doesn't. And we have to be honest with ourselves. So if you want to liberate yourself from all the things you think are important that are not, that you won't actually remember when you're older, that won't register on your spectrum of happiness, of 
fulfillment. You need to be honest with yourself. And perhaps need to go in a different direction and stop, you know. Perhaps you want to see the entire world and you only get to see half of it. And you only appreciate a third of that half. And you really register half of that third. Okay. And the reason why is because that's all you needed. There's a lot of repetitive elements on this planet. I'm just giving you examples that may resonate. A lot of repetitive elements. People are very similar all over the world. That's one thing I've really realized. There's not a lot of difference in mindset. You do feel the difference of an elevated person and somebody who's not. And there are a lot of lessons to be learned from all of this. That's what I want to share with you today. Um, I want to send you my love and my gratitude. I'll reveal very soon where I am and what I'm doing here. It can be a bit of a surprise because it's not your usual place. Most people, I believe, do not know that it exists. And they should. And I send you my best. Thank you so much and have a blessed week.